What's good, YouTube? Welcome and welcome back. It's your boy Bosco back again with another sneaker video. Today, we're going to talk about the updated releases for March and April of 2023. There's a lot of bangers, plus, we got some surprises that are dropping later on during the summertime. If you see something you like in this video, make sure you hit that like button. Do your part and let's get this video to 500 likes. Without further ado, let's jump into the sneakers, you dig? First, we have the Air Jordan 12 Amamanier dropping in the black colorway on March 2nd for 225 bucks. Then, we also have a a white colorway also dropping March 2nd for a retail price of 225 bucks. Originally on the 24th of February, Amamanier was gonna drop both pair, but instead they just released the black pair, but both pair will release on March 2nd for a retail price of 225 bucks. As both 12 being two different colorways, one having a black base, the other having a white base, both will feature burgundy crush detailing constructed in premium materials. They will both have wax laces. Much like the other releases for the Amamanieras, the Jordans, they will all have the A Amamanier branding and special hang tags to go along with the branding of the shoe and it will have also special boxes for it as well i seen both of these colorways basically online as you guys have and i like the black colorway a little bit more however i think the white colorway is very very clean i would love to know what you guys think now we have better images of these things which one are you guys going after or are you going to wait and try and get both of them give me your thoughts in the comment section below feel it will be rather difficult trying to grab yourself a pair especially both of them but if you have the opportunity to i definitely think you should try it will be available on sneakers i think that's probably the best way to go after them but give me your thoughts overall in the comments below Next up, dropping March 3rd for a retail price of $180 is the Air Jordan 14 Low Women's Metallic Silver. Coming in the Metallic Silver, Fire Red, Wolf Gray, and Black color scheme. This one here is a little different for this Jordan 14 for the ladies. Coming with the silver crinkled patent leather upper. Then you have the black detailing and metallic silver foam pieces on the midsole. Fire Red contracting accents with the gray rubber outsole. Overall, this shoe does look futuristic. I just don't know how much people will be grabbing it. Overall, give me your thoughts and opinions about this sneaker in the comment section below. I feel like this will be a Jordan Retro that will be sitting around, so it's not something that you have to rush to pay resale for if you're for some reason not able to get it online. So just look around. Let me know if you guys will be picking it up. Next up, we arguably have the sneaker of the year with the Air Jordan 5 UNC dropping March 4th for a retail price of $225. Of course, you have that University Blue, black and white color scheme paying homage to the MJ's alma mater of UNC, North Carolina. This right here has the University Blue Nubuck Upper with the silver 3M reflective tongues. You have the college patch on the heels, which a lot of people do like. You have heart and soul wording behind the tongues. I like this and of course you have the uh, translucent blue outsole with the sparkle gray midsole. You cannot go wrong with it. It comes in full family sizes. Let me know if this is something you guys are grabbing and if this one is a sneaker of the year, make sure you let me know in the comments below. Next up, we got another fire release for the Air Jordan 2. We have it dropping on March 8th for a retail price of 150 bucks. That is the Air Jordan 2 Low Women's LA to Chicago very dope shoe coming in the white fire red dark powder blue and cell color scheme this jordan 2 of course just like the unc5 is paying homage to michael jordan's college team as well as his professional team the chicago bulls it features the white leather upper paired with the red contracting accents on the piping and the wings you cannot go wrong with this i think this personally is like a 9 out of 10 even though it's majority white and will be hard to be keep clean but it is dope let me know if this is something that you guys will be adding to your collection next up also dropping on March 8th for a retail price of $135. We have an Air Jordan 1 mid Tiki Leaf that I want to talk about. It is very unique coming in the Team Red, University Red, Cell and Muslin color scheme. This one is definitely going to be a little different from the previous Jordan 1 mids. The quality on this one definitely looks nice by the pictures that I'm seeing. Let me know if this is something that you guys will be adding to your collection. Some people will feel iffy about Jordan 1 mids, but if you like what you see, let me know in the comments section below. The colorway is unique and the detailing on it is definitely fire. If I had to rate it from a 1 to 10, I would give it a solid 7.5, 8, but I can't wait to see it in hand. Let me know what you guys think. 
This next Air Jordan Retro is arguably sneaker of the year candidate. A lot of heat been dropping so far and we're only in the third month. On March 11th for a retail price of 210 bucks, we got the Air Jordan 3 White Cement Reimagined. A lot of people are looking forward to this sneaker and I wanna know what you guys think about it. Coming in the Summit White, Fire Red, Black and Cement Gray color scheme. Of course, this Jordan 3 is gonna look pretty much like the OG that came out in 1988 with the vintage age look. Of course, this will have the Nike Air on the heels. Coming Coming in special packaging as well as full family sizing available. Let me know what you guys think about this and is this Jordan 3 the sneaker of the year? Comment down below. There's definitely a strong buzz for that Jordan 3. A lot of people were happy when they caught it on a shock drop. Did you? Next up, we got an Air Jordan 1 Mid. This is the Craft colorway, dropping for a retail price of $130. Coming in the light or wood brown with the white as well as tech gray and cell color scheme. This Jordan 1 Mid comes constructed with a mix of mesh and leather along with some suede materials. Then you have the foam padded tongues, the 23 stitching on a lateral swoosh. I like this Jordan 1 Mid Craft and let me know if you guys are feeling it. They've been coming out with some really good colorways and added some good qualities to the Jordan 1 Mids lately. Next up, we have the Air Jordan 1 Low Fly East in the Aquatone colorway dropping during the month of March for a retail price of $130. These right here are equipped with Toby Hatfield's Ease of Entry technology, much like the Air Jordan 1 Fly East. This right here has a zipper on the medial side and multiple hooks and loops adjustments to you know combine for a personalized fit and feel. The color scheme is nice with the white. You have hints of gold and aquatone. From a 1 to 10 scale, this colorway is definitely like an eight and a half, nine. Let me know if you have any fly east in your collection in the comment section below. Next, we have the Air Jordan 1 High OG Skyline dropping March 18th for a retail price of 180 bucks. The colorway is fire and it's definitely picking up some steam since I first heard about this sneaker. Vivid orange, black, ice lilac, true blue, and cell is the color scheme. It has that ombre denim upper, which is something I think a lot of people are looking forward to. You have contrast stitching, exposed foam detailing. I like that a lot as well. Then you have the cell midsole and black rubber outsole. It does come with some special packaging overall from a 1 to 10 rate this sneaker in the comment section below and do you see yourself grabbing it for me personally i might pass but it definitely is a fire colorway next up we have another sneaker of the year candidate when it comes to jordan retros the nike sb air jordan 4 pine green which has actually two release dates march 17th at skate shops and march 24th globally for a retail price of 225 dollars Coming in the sale, pine green, neutral gray, and white color scheme, this Jordan 4 has definitely been something that a lot of people have been looking forward to. It features the white leather upper, neutral gray suede overlays, then you have the pine green contracting accents on the eyelids and midsole. You have the Nike SB replacing Nike Air Jumpman on the back heels. That's something that a lot of people are looking forward to. And with two different drops, I know a lot of people will be trying to scoop these up. From a one to 10, let me know what you guys think about this now that we have better images of what this shoe will actually look like. Uh, definitely will be limited. From a one to 10, I give it a definitely a 10. Next up, we have a very unique Air Jordan 1 Low that's dropping during the month of March for a retail price of 135 bucks. I like the color combination and the way this shoe looks. It has a black leather upper with mesh tongues and I do like the fact that it has a glossy reptile texture swoosh. Other details include the dusty blue suede overlays with the aqua contracting stitching to match the rubber outsole. You have copper Jumpman tongue branding with matching removable pendants. Then you have the white midsole. I like this colorway. It's definitely different from the other Jordan 1 lows that have been dropping so far. Let me know if this is something that you will be adding to your collection. Next up we have another dope colorway of the Air Jordan one low fly east this is the bread colorway also dropping during the month of march for a retail price of 135 dollars coming in the black gym red and white color scheme of course that classic bread colorway this too has the ease of entry technology featuring the medial zipper along with the multiple hooks and loops for adjustment to make it more of a personalized fit let me know if this is a jordan one low fly east that you guys will be adding to your collection or is it an easy pass? Next up is an Air Jordan 1 Low SE Brown Elephant dropping during the month of March for a retail price of $120. 
has the uh, hemp, metallic gold, white, and light British tan, along with some black on the color scheme. It has a mix of mesh and leather materials, along with the suede detailing with the brown elephant print swooshes. You have a white midsole and a black rubber outsole. I think that colorway is definitely unique, and we'll love to see what it looks like in hand. And there is actually a Jordan 1 Mid SE brown elephant dropping for a retail price of 135 bucks. There's also a Jordan 1 that's coming out later on in the year with the same features, coming with the light or with brown, metallic gold white light british tan along with the sail this has the white leather base with the suede overlays and gold branding i like the elephant print on this swoosh as well for this shoe and ankle collar one in ten scale rate this jordan mid in the comments below next up we have the air jordan 2 low craft melon tint dropping march 24th for a retail price of 150 bucks sail melon tint light curry cobblestone and muslin is the color scheme this jordan 2 comes constructed with a mix of leather and suede materials detailing with melon and curry contracting accents you have the white midsole with the gray rubber outsole definitely a unique jordan 2 low and as we know for 2023 the air jordan 2 and jordan 2 low is getting a lot of love so out of all the colorways that you've seen so far or for the year that is to come where does this jordan 2 line up and do you see yourself adding this one to your collection as you can see for the month of March, there's a lot of retros to look forward to, including two, maybe even three, arguably sneaker of the year candidates. But wait, we got some breaking news about some newer things that are dropping later this year. First, let's talk about the Amamayer Air Jordan 5 collab that we have dropping during the holiday season for a retail price of 225 bucks. One comes in a light bone colorway, the other comes in a black base colorway. Both of these definitely are fire. Come with a mixture of the colorways along with the fire crafted premium materials like the previous releases for the Amaman years. You always get good quality on these. Both colorways are unique. They will have special packaging as well. I'm looking forward to getting some actual images, but right now we just have the mock-ups. But based on what you're seeing in these images, which colorway do you guys like more or do you have to have them both? Next up, we have another Air Jordan 1 High OG that's added to the list this year for a retail price of 180 bucks. The Air Jordan 1 High Celadon is definitely unique. Only mock-up images so far of what the shoe could look like, but as you can see, it will have like a green coloring on the upper along with some olive and bright mandarin contracting accents throughout the shoe with a mix of coconut milk and pale ivory on the rubber outsole. This is definitely different. Not sure how well this will look in person. Of course, once we get updated images, I would definitely share but give me your thoughts on about this in the comments below next up we have some mock-up images of an air jordan 2 women's mauve colorway also dropping during the holiday season for a retail price of 175 bucks the color combination is off near mauve guave ice along with some cool gray like i said only mock-up images thus far but when we get the new images i definitely will bring it to the table coming with the off near base with a cool gray detailing along with the mauve and guava ice contracting accents. Then you're gonna have an aged midsole look. It's looking like it will look pretty unique. I'm curious to see what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts. Next up, we got some Gore-Tex, ladies and gentlemen. The Air Jordan 6 Women's Gore-Tex Brown Kelp is dropping during the holiday season as well for a retail price of 250 bucks. Brown Kelp, Team Gold, Shadow Brown, and Court Purple is the color scheme. Only mock-up so far of what this shoe will look like, but it definitely will have Gore-Tex material covering its upper for the weather resistant, along with the purple and orange contracting accents, giving it like an ACG feel, if you will. I'm looking forward to what this shoe will look like. It has a speckled midsole and a translucent outsole, which is something I love. Next, let's get into a couple new sneakers added to the Air Jordan Retro releases for 2023. This will retail for 200 bucks, the Air Jordan 5 Low Dong Dan, black white lilac ice and pink rise is the color scheme this jordan 5 low will feature the black nubuck upper with 3m reflective tongues and pink appearing on the speckled shark teeth overlay along the midsole you'll have the dong dan tournaments logo on the heels atop the translucent outsole with the Jumpman sky graphic on the insole which looks pretty nice i'm pretty sure it's going to come in a special box and some extra laces when i get more details i will let you know next up we got the air jordan 37 low dog dan dropping later this year but this will retail for $195. The color scheme on this 37 low is definitely nice, just like some of the other colorways that have been dropping for the Air Jordan 37 low. This one comes in black, orange chalk, lilac ice, hydrogen blue, pink sunrise, and then you have some white in the color scheme. This 37 low, just like the other ones, will have the woven mesh panels with the leather overlays. It will also have the Dog Dan Tournaments logo on the heel tabs. You have the carbon fiber plate on the midsole, 
also with the soft form of the 23 foam that Jordan brand uses. You have that special semi-translucent plastic hang tag with Beijing text, both Dog Dan and Jumpman logos on it. Then you have a special QR code that directs you to Jordan brand's WeChat account, which is kind of crazy. Let me know what you guys think about this 37 among all the other colorways and let's get into the next shoe. Before we get into these April releases, let's talk about the latest news about the Air Jordan 4 Bread Reimagined dropping in March of 2024. A lot of people are definitely excited. This Air Jordan 4 will be adding to Jordan's brand Reimagined series scheduled for early 2024. Is this an easy cop or a pass? It's definitely going to look aged like they always have been doing with the Reimagined sneakers. Of course, this is a very classic colorway too, so I'm looking forward to it. Let me know your thoughts, of course, in the comments below. Definitely a shoe that a lot of people are looking forward to including myself let's go ahead and get into april coming out april 1st for a retail price of 190 bucks we have the air jordan 11 low cement gray this is pretty much resembling the cool gray coming in the white university blue and cement gray color scheme you cannot be mad at the white mesh upper with the leather heel detailed as well as cement gray patent leather mud guards university blue jumpman branding you have a white midsole and then the icy blue outsole which is something i like a lot about this sneaker as we are getting into the springtime i think this air jordan 11 low is definitely perfect let me know what you guys think is this something that you will be adding to your collection or is this an easy pass i'm interested to see what the response is for the sneaker because it is fire but 11 low sometimes tend to be slept on next up dropping april 6 for a retail price of 200 bucks we got the women's air jordan 3 lucky green coming in the white lucky green varsity red cement gray and cell color scheme of course you have the white leather upper base with the elephant print overlays and green contrasting accents red jumpman tongue branding then you have the cell midsole for the age look of course most shoes are doing that nowadays and then you have the rubber outsole of course to complete the design the gray rubber outsole let me know if you guys will be picking up this lucky green jordan 3 in the comments below next up on april 8th for a retail price of 150 dollars we have the air jordan 2 low seed sucker let me know what you guys think about this color combination you have atmosphere white pale vanilla and photon dust to make up the color scheme this jordan 2 low comes constructed with a mix of material striped and checkered with the sea sucker textile and tinted heel counter these are pretty unique as you can see other details include the classic wings and nike air logos on with the og molded sock liner i'm not mad at these they come in full men's sizing of course with special packaging no grade school size from what i'm seeing but let me know what you guys think about these jordan 2 lows in the comments below Next up, we have the Air Jordan 1 High Lucky Green dropping April 15th for a retail price of $180. This is definitely one Jordan 1 that a lot of people are looking forward to this year. Let me know what you guys think about these. Black, Lucky Green, and White is a color scheme. This Jordan 1 features a white leather base with black and green overlays. Unlike the 2009 pair, this release will include the Nike Air on the tongue tags, which is pretty dope. You have the white midsole with the green rubber outsole. Definitely a fire colorway. I like the fact that it does come with some alternate laces, green and black. Let me know what you guys will do. Lace swapping options or not, is this something that you guys are copying easily or will these sit in stores? Give me your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Personally, I think this might be the best Jordan 1 to release so far in 2023. The next one I'll put right behind that might be the True Blue. Let me know your thoughts on that in the comments. Wait, I might have spoke too soon. Dropping April 22nd for a retail price of 180 bucks. We got the Air Jordan 1 High Women's OG washed pink now this is definitely a fire jordan one from what i'm seeing so far it's a women's exclusive but it also will be available in preschool and toddler sizing coming in the atmosphere white muslin and cell color scheme this jordan one is pretty much just like the 2021 hyper royal it has the white leather base with the pink wash overlays muslin collars swooshes and woven nike air on the tongue labels a cell midsole with the black rubber outsole I'm a big fan of this colorway. I think it looks nice. I'm curious to see what it looks like in hand. Hopefully the pictures are not doing the shoe justice. Let me know if you guys will be adding these to your collection or are they an easy pack? I feel this wash pink has the potential to be a great shoe, but it really depends on what it looks like in person. Next up is one of my favorite silhouettes, the Air Jordan 13. This is the black flint colorway dropping April 22nd for a retail price of 200 bucks. Of course, you cannot go wrong with a flint colorway, black university red, flint gray and white is a color scheme this jordan 13 has the white leather base with 3m reflective mesh on the side panels which we all love for air jordan 13s you have the flint gray suede on the mud guards and heels you have red branding on the top uh the white midsole 
black rubber outsole to complete the shoe. The shoe will arrive in special packaging and available in full family sizing, which is definitely dope. Might have to grab these myself, rate these from a one to 10, and do you see yourself adding them to your collection? Next up, dropping April 26 for a retail price of $150 is arguably one of the sneakers of the year with the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Low Women's OG Olive. Coming in the sale, University Red, black and medium olive color scheme. This Travis Scott low will feature the black suede base with cell leather overlays. Other details include the olive suede swooshes, laces, and cactus jack tongue branding with the red accents on the Nike Air tongue branding. Then you have the embroidered heels as well. A cell midsole with the olive rubber outsole. That's unique. I like the graphic details on this shoe as well. Coming in extended sizes, so you know bigger sizes like myself can grab a pair if we're able to. Let me know what you guys think about the Travis Scotts and where do these rank among the five previous Travis Scott Jordan 1 lows that have been dropped. In my opinion, I feel like the Travis Scott low fragment might be the best one so far, but let me know what you guys think. Next up, we have a Jordan Retro that I'm a little confused about, and I'm going to tell you why in just a second. Dropping April 29th for a retail price of $210, we got the Air Jordan 3 Wizards. Now, this one is very dope and unique, so I'm seeing that the shoe is supposed to have the Nike Air branding on the back. Every picture that I'm seeing right now does not have that, but I'm assuming and pretty sure that it will. Coming in the white, true blue, metallic copper, and cement gray color scheme, this Jordan 3 will look exactly like the PE, coming in basically the true blue colorway with the copper swapping out for the red. I like that on the Jumpman accent. Let me know what you guys think about these in the comments below where you guys pick up a pair. As we can see for the month of April, there's definitely a lot of heat to look forward to. And I need to hear your feedback on this and let me know what you guys feel like might be the top three standouts for the month of April. Could it be the Air Jordan 1 High Lucky Green dropping on April 15th? That's definitely a fire shoe. We also got the Jordan 2 Low Seed Sucker. I wanna see what that actually looks like in person. Then of course, everybody's favorite, the OG High Lucky Green on the 15th, also for 180. And then we have the Wash Pink, which I'm really curious to see how that's gonna actually turn out. And I'm a big fan of Air Jordan 13, so the Black Flint definitely is something I might wanna grab on the 22nd. And of course, the Hype, the Travis Scott Women's Olive dropping on April 26th. And then you have the OG Air Jordan 3 Wizards with that Nike Air on the back dropping on the 29th you can see there is a lot of things to look forward to when it comes to jordan retros in the month of april and may of 2023 arguably four to five sneakers could be in the running for sneaker of the year definitely top 10 sneakers let me know your feedback which ones are you guys most likely looking forward to grabbing and which ones are straight trash if you like this video do your part and help get this video to 500 likes by hitting that like button and if you want to see more content like this go ahead and check out this video and i'm gonna see you guys there deuces